as students of prophecy, we know what happens before, during, and after the 1,000 years. But most in the world have been taught to trust the popes and their cohorts in all religions to believe the 1,000 years is the start of Christ's reign on earth. Notice what the Vatican teaches on this. They said, therefore, peace being made and every evil suppressed, that righteous king and conqueror, Jesus Christ, will institute a great judgment on the earth, respecting the living and the dead, and will deliver all the nations into subjection to the righteous who are alive, and will raise the righteous dead to eternal life, and will himself reign with them on earth. They also say, though already present in his church, Christ's reign is nevertheless yet to be fulfilled with power and great glory by the king's return to earth. Before his ascension, Christ affirmed that the hour had not yet come for the glorious establishment of the messianic kingdom awaited by Israel, which, according to the prophets, was to bring all men the definitive order of justice, love, and peace. And that's from their catechism books. They teach this to their children. And so as the dying God of this world was able to get the Jews to believe when Messiah came, he would reign on earth 2,000 years ago, he is still using the same lie to this day because it worked so well back then. They believed it so much that they denied the real Messiah, just like they're doing today. And yes, this lie has been embraced by Rome all along, to the point the Pope of today echoes this lie with pride. Notice this headline from November 26, 2014, from the National Catholic Reporter. It says the world will end with peace, not annihilation, Pope Francis says. That's the exact opposite of what the Bible says. And so, does the Seventh-day Adventist Church agree with the Pope of Rome on this so as to teach Christ will set up his kingdom on this earth at his second coming, like all those that believe in a secret rapture and a seven-year tribulation? Well, notice this. The General Conference President said, We still believe Jesus will usher in a new world order. And by the way, the first one ever to say that was Roman Catholic Emperor Adolf Hitler. Going on, it says, He will come to inaugurate a new world order that will be unlike anything the world has known. Someday soon, you and I will live in that new world. If Jesus were to come tomorrow, would you be happy in the new world he will bring with him? But neither democracy, nor communism, nor socialism is God's system. His eternal kingdom is built on different principles and will supersede all earthly governments and powers. And the next great event in the world history will happen when God sets up his kingdom that will last forever. And when does the Seventh-day Adventist Church believe this new world order will begin? Are they talking about New Jerusalem at the end of the 1,000 years, as the Bible says? Or do they claim it happens at the second coming like Rome says, so as to set the stage for Antichrist? Well, notice what they said here. They said, thus shall we anticipate the establishment of God's eternal kingdom of peace at the second advent of our Lord and Savior, who is the Prince of Peace? They also said the establishment of the literal kingdom of God ushered in by the glorious second coming of Jesus Christ. And then finally, again, the General Conference president said, We believe that soon Jesus will come to this world and usher in his kingdom of peace, joy, and righteousness. And as students of prophecy, we know, brothers and sisters, that Jesus does not touch the earth when he returns. The Pope and the Seventh-day Adventist Church are correct, however, when they say there will be peace on earth for a thousand years. But only because the peace comes from everyone that follows their lead are actually dead, as dung upon the earth. For those 1,000 years, wherein Satan's true name, Beelzebub, comes to be defined in reality. He is the God of dung, and all those that believed his lies are now rotting under his feet as he wanders the planet contemplating his eternal demise when the 1,000 years actually ends. This lie of Satan will make everyone believe that when Antichrist appears, that he is Jesus Christ himself setting up his kingdom of peace on earth. See, this is why it's so important to read your Bibles. What they're saying from these pulpits, you're not going to find a single Bible verse to back it up. And this is also why the Vatican, all the Protestant churches, the Jews who believe the Messiah will come soon to reign on earth, and now the Seventh-day Adventist leaders are being moved by Satan to teach this lie to their flock. Because again, it worked well 2,000 years ago. It'll work well now. But praise the Lord. 
The obedient elect of God cannot be deceived because we keep our lamps trimmed. Biblical reality is, only those ignoring the call of Jesus Christ to come out of her, my people, who sit comfortably in apostasy, awaiting the arrival of Antichrist, thinking he is Jesus Christ, are going to be the ones that fall for this lie. And so pray for them. They still have a little bit of time left to repent and come to accept Jesus Christ as Lord. And so what does the Bible say about what happens before, during, and after the 1,000 years? Check this out. Thank you for watching. God bless.